in this presentation we are going to discuss about binaries which are also assets of a process. So basically binaries decides what is to be done. Let's consider this example. You are hired for a new job in a new workplace and you are given a list of tasks in a paper to execute. So that is what you have to do in that new workplace. You are similar to the new thread created inside a process. The workplace is the process at the space which is an isolated region for you to do the work a list of tasks which is there in the paper which you need to execute is the binary is equivalent to the binary which contains CPU instruction and supporting data so again uh, getting more concrete so what are binaries? Uh, normally you see uh, binaries with extension .sys, .exe, .dll. These are the common extensions for binary but uh, you can have pretty much any extension for binary. Uh, one a general rule or a general format if you will. Binaries follow is called portable executable format or PE format. But strictly speaking, to execute some code in, in a process at the space, you don't need a PE files. So normally, uh, binaries are in PE file format. It has data as well as code. So how you make a binary? A binary is normally generated by a linker from the OBJ files created by a compiler from source code. So that is where uh, the data and code comes into the picture. There is a presentation from me in the C programming series how a binary is generated. It is called compiling, linking and loading. Feel free to refer that for more information. In a user mode process, you will see at least one exe to start with. So a process, to, to start a user mode process, you need at least one exe. The DL files are like sidekicks for the superhero which is EXE. EXE will load and call functions from our DLLs. The sys files are normally drivers. They are like DLLs loaded into the kernel. Binaries are fully responsible for all the actions by a process. The code running inside the process which is nothing but EXE DLL and sys in kernel mod are completely responsible for all the actions of that process. Now let's have a quick look into the demo. What we're going to see is process explorer and we're going to look at the loaded binaries in user mode and loaded binaries in uh, kernel mode. So this tool is um, process explorer from sys internals again. Processes running in the system. Um, we have seen this before. I'm going to view a lower pane view uh, DLLs and I'm going to select a process, say for example, explorer.exe. So in the bottom, you can see uh, refreshing DLLs. So these are the binaries loaded into the user mode part of Explorer right now. This many DLLs. Uh, loaded. You can see some other files which are not DLLs as well. This is a typical P signature you are seeing right now. This files, although they don't have the uh, DLL or uh, EXE extension, they are also PE files. Some of these binaries are common to all the processes. For example, kernel 32.dll. You will see that uh, in all the processes. Some binaries uh, are specific to this particular process. For example, explorer.exe is um, specific to explorer. So explorer.exe you won't see in any other process other than explorer itself. Um, 
but uh, you will see kernel 32.dl pretty much in all the all the process you will see this this particular DLR loaded so that is uh, shared up between processes so the information you are seeing here uh, is from process explorer you can you can have other tools as well to see the same information now uh, let's look at the kernel at the space to see the kernel at the space and the binary loaded into the uh, kernel uh, you have to click on the system process so you can see most of them are sys files. So this these are the drivers loaded into the kernel. So system under space is common to all the processes. Uh, this is showing the upper uh, two GB. So for example, if you look at the image load address, you can see this um, sixty four bit address. When we were looking at uh, Explorer, we saw the user binaries of Explorer. But uh, the the kernel binaries are uh, we have to we have to assume that the kernel binary is loaded in the upper upper two GB which we saw in the system at a space that is actually part of that explorer which we saw although process explorer is not showing but the output of explorer or any process for that matter is due to the user binaries as well as the kernel binaries. So system at a space is not something which is a different process which is running but it is part of all the processes and it is the upper 2 GB. Uh, kernel binaries are also loaded into each process at the space along with the user binaries and take part in the fate and action of the process. This is very important. So that uh, brings us to the summary. Uh, so we have seen uh, another asset of the process which are the loaded binaries we have seen the kernel as well as user binaries the sys files are dlls and exes uh, when we create a program say a hello world program we are generating a binary and loading into a process uh, binaries are responsible for the action of the process so binaries are entities which decides what that process does that's about the presentation now Reviews, comments and suggestions I would like to take from one single location. So if you don't mind, I would like to follow this particular pattern for the reviews and comments. Unfortunately, it is not really useful to me if you update the YouTube comments as YouTube is just one way we publish content. Now if you think you need more personal attention or have some in-depth doubt or need some more training, please feel free to follow these links. Also, please refer someone if you think they can benefit from similar trainings. All services are available online as well as direct classroom training. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.